Welcome everyone to another episode of Atomic Rooster Gaming. Today, I am playing Grounded. Um, this game was released in its full version recently. Uh, in September of 2022. Um, I played a little bit. There's a couple videos on my channel from this where I did some multiplayer. Uh, but I want to do some extended gameplay with this. Obviously I want to play through the game. I want to because it looks amazing. I had a blast with the time that I did spend with it playing multiplayer so I really want to get into it and kind of go through it so what I'm gonna do I don't want to do like a full thing because it's like a survival game so I'm gonna just record a bunch of gameplay I'm gonna upload some stuff periodically here and there um, as I play through this and kind of go through stuff because you know these survival games you know can go for a long time so uh, you know, you build and you upgrade and you craft and you do all this stuff, so it can take a while. So I will be uploading some of this gameplay on a regular basis on this show. So if you are watching, thank you so much. I do appreciate you even taking the time to click on my video. At this point, I'm a really low level. I don't have any, <laughs> any subscribers, very few views. I do appreciate anybody that is viewing this. Uh, it's amazing. Um... I really do enjoy playing games, and I enjoy uploading stuff, so um, thank you for watching. Please uh, like the video, you know, be the first person. You can be the first one to like one of my videos. Be very cool. Make my day. Um, subscribe to the channel. You know, click the notification bell. Leave a comment. Tell me what game you want me to play next, or what game you'd like me to see. I got... Uh, I got a few games on deck. I wanna, uh, I wanna get through uh, Mass Effect 2. I recently played through the first Mass Effect game. Loved it. Got the Legendary Edition, so I got all three of those games. So I'm really looking forward to playing Mass Effect 2. I think that's probably gonna be the one that I play, unless somebody leaves a comment and suggests a better game or even a different game. You drop a like and leave a comment, I'll play whatever game you put down in the box. From beginning to end. So, <laughs> once again, thank you for your time. I do appreciate it. And here we go. This is going to be single player. Uh, starting the new game. We're going to just regular difficulty. I'm always on a regular difficulty. I'm never going to go with like a, what is this, a woe? No, or it's just harder? No. I want to play the game the way they designed it. You know, the developers and whatnot. Some people like to play the hard games, you know, and put it on the super difficulty, the crazy difficulties. I'm just going to go middle of the road. I'm not some kind of expert game player, or I'm not the completionist or anything like that. Nothing. I just like to play video games because I enjoy it and I want to have a good time probably never seen me playing any kind of like a Dark Souls game or any kind I do not like just banging my head up against the wall over and over and over again until I get better it's not my thing so here we go this game is like I said uh, Obsidian Entertainment put it out they've made a lot of great games I've heard that it's basically based on or roughly around Honey I Shrunk the Kids movies back in the day in the 90s um, and it seems it seems to be that way you know it's based in the 90s uh, you're shrunk down on somebody's backyard you're fighting your way through all kinds of stuff okay so enough of that let's get into it so I like Max what's Pete's name my name's Peter my friends call me Pete see hey nice to meet you Max got a last Your name name's Max Maxwell Small Maxwell Small see got a last name I like that Ali who Alley hoops. Okay, I like that. Hey, I'm Willow. Willow Branch. <sighs> Willow Branch. Okay, how come Pete don't got a last name? Ready for adventure. Do you like role-playing games? My name's Peter. 
My friends call me Pete. Why doesn't Pete get a last name? Okay. All right. I gotta go with Max. What's the worst thing that could happen? Got the confidence. I don't know. I just feel weird playing as a. I don't know. Anyway, we are ready to start the game. Come with me on a journey. What's the name here? Um, name of the yard. All right, we're going to go. Smallville? Mm -hmm. Let's do the Smallville, okay. We'll do a little Superman. That's not Bill. Hello. There you go. Is that right? Smallville. Does that look right? I'm usually a pretty good speller. But town names, you gotta make it brighter. Oh yeah, that's right. Alright, here we go, Smallville. A little homage to Superman. You can't run from me, you Valvies! <laughs> you think you have smarted me? The mighty Muldoon? I don't think so, yo! for what happens next on Yoke's Girth. Now a word from our sponsor. <laughs> Kids, are you ready for a new wild and wacky Puncho fruit flavor? Introducing Apricot. It's a punch to the gut. So stop by, fill up, and make sure you get your Billy Hog hot dog before you get away. Good morning, Brook Hollow. Today is October 20, 1990. This is your news. We have a special breaking report. The police department has released information that more local teenagers have gone missing. They were last seen earlier this week, and the only connection between the teenagers is that they are all students at Brook Hollow High School. This could be linked to the disturbing trend of other possible abductions and missing teenagers from our otherwise quiet town. If anyone has seen the teenagers or has any other information, please contact the police department. The mayor of Brook Hollow has put a curfew into effect for anyone under 18 starting tonight. Now to other news. Okay, so we got Brook Hollow in the 90s. The bikes, the old skateboards. Oh, it looks very cool. Gas is $1.83 a gallon. What? what was that guy's name? Yoke Girth? <laughs> That's a He-Man reference if nobody knows. He-Man was a shit back in the day. I had all those things. All the He-Mans. I had a whole trunk full of He-Mans. We got soda cans, sprinklers. Look at the graphics on this thing though. This looks amazing. Parachute with a star attached to a suitcase. Why are we getting air dropped in in a suitcase? And it opened by itself. That's nice. Investigate surroundings. Explore your surroundings. What? Damn. Why Where am I? am I? Are those... Roots? Nah, <laughs> can't be. Oh, this must be one of those, those prank TV shows. <laughs> All right, be cool, Max. You're gonna be famous. Gonna be famous. Okay, so yeah, so there's spots in the deal. Hold on. Check my settings here. It looks a little bit. Options, there we go. Ok, 
Okay, keyboard and mouse, sensitivity, 24%. Okay, let's go display. Epic quality, okay. Frame rate 120. Higher settings provide better image quality, closer to native resolution with smaller performance gain. Lower setting provides large performance gain but with less quality. So this is off. How about balanced? Gamma, motion blur, I don't really like motion blur. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I was looking for right there. Alright, field of view. Adjust the angles of your view. 90% seeing more of the world on screen can negatively impact performance. Lower values may make you feel strange. <laughs> We strongly recommend keeping this at 90. So the motion blur I just wanted to take off because I think that was the thing that was, uh, you know, let's see. Okay, all right. So I am playing on PC. Um, look at that, right there. See those rays right there? I did this last time I came through this part right here. Like, if that doesn't get you locked into a game right here, like, look at that. You've got blurry background with the god rays coming through. That looks... Ugh. That's why I want to play through this game right here. Because that... You look at this right here when you walk out. Look at what you're looking at. It's a speedy little green corn pup. This just is nah, nah, nah. open, this isn't looking amazing good, world. That's just completely relatable. Like, I did like two, maybe three hours with my son. And I, I bought this game in early access. When it first first came out to early access, I got this game with my kid to play with my kid. And we did play through quite a bit, but it, it was nothing like this. Like, early access was okay, but this you know the graphics and all the stuff and it was it was all right but it was kind of empty and and signal detected oh signal detected what was that some sort of radio um signal? it just kind of seemed a little hollow from. but we uh, you know we we spent a few hours we got a little ways into it mostly just building stuff and you know he just likes to whoa look at the size of that ant Honestly, I'm just glad he's not big enough to squish me. But there's a whole story thing going on now, and and yeah, so like this looks really cool, and I really do enjoy games like this. Just don't know how well it's gonna do, you know. What's up, Ant? Hey, buddy. And a weevil. Now. Oh. Uh -huh. Alright. So what we need to do is get over here to this little tent. One second. Okay, so we got to get over to the marker there. While, of course, you know, picking up bunches and bunches of things. Whatever you see, because... For your surroundings, locate the source of the signal. This would be the source of the signal, I think. So, it's spacer, S-P-A-C dot R safety test. We're going to nab it. 
Uh, date 0808 of 89 okay so this is in the 90s I think the early 90s uh, location Tully backyard that's probably where I'm at now supervising scientist dr. Wendell Tully results power fluctuations are within acceptable range so we're in the doctor's backyard power fluctuations are within acceptable range the machine itself continues to operate as expected Weatherproofing of the platform components is holding up quite well. The pylons, however, are a finicky trio. Maintaining the beam angles regular requires regular obstruction removal. The yard is simply too alive for precision instruments. Oh, you to Clidian space, you fickle mistress. Remember, checking check in beginning cell diagnostic before end of day protocols. Okay. Okay. I gotta find some water because I'm getting a little thirsty. A couple of nice looking little candy bars right there. I got granola bars, sorry, not candy bars. We're out my teeth. So well, we gotta analyze some Someone stuff. had to have set up all this sciencey stuff here. So what are we doing? But we still. I'm not exactly sure where this is and what is going on. Right. I should keep looking around. We're going to look around. So, you just analyze things here, and it's going to, just like any other survival game, it's kind of cool because it gives you a limited amount, then it refills over time. So now we can make the spear and the axe. And then you can see it resets the timer, so it's got like a 9 minute and 30 timer or whatever to... Okay, can we analyze the mushroom? I think it's gonna give us much. That was kind of a waste. Mushroom slurry. Yuck. What is mushroom slurry gonna do though? Obviously good experience for it. We need the grass and the sap. Damn. That was dumb. I wasted that one on the, on the <laughs> mushroom. Okay, so plant fiber. That one's important. Crude rope, fiber bandages, and plant slurry. Slurry is like, you just put it in a blender. That's what you get. We got brain power unlocks. Okay, we got the rope, the bandages. Look at that, they got level fives. 15, that's it. That looks like a sword, some boots. Okay. There's a bow. Okay. Some simple armor. You can make quite a few things pretty fast. Alright. So, what are we going to do? We are going to start crafting. Simple stuff now. So, they make this super easy. Like, this game, they did a really good job with this. They made the menus easy. The just it's very simple it's very intuitive so you click on craft and then all the different things you want to craft so obviously we want to start with weapons we want to make the axe first but we need the crude rope so we gotta go back to make the rope rope is very easy we're gonna craft one rope two ropes just in case we don't want to craft all this stuff so now we'll go back to the weapons and we'll pick the axe and then so you can craft Craft many with W or craft and equip with S. So we're just going to space and craft. And then we need some more sprigs for the axe. So sprigs are easy. They're just pick up things here. Boom. Boom. Look at that. The audio, the sun rays. Look at the bees are flying around. This is such a cool place, dude, and it just works. Like, it just looks amazing. It's an, I don't know how nobody's made a game like this before. Like, it, it just, it's such an amazing idea, an amazing concept. You can completely relate to all the things that you see. It's just bigger. You see ants, you see bugs, rocks, and You know, just everything. Why you gotta keep the rocks loaded for 
some reason. Anyway, it, it just, it looks so cool. It, it is so cool. It is just an amazing concept. And I maybe have some nostalgia for the whole thing because I grew up on all this. I grew up on Honey, I Shrunk the Kid movies. I saw them all, you know. Uh, you know, I was an 80s and 90s kind of kid. I don't know, I guess I was a kind of a young idiot. Uh, okay, let's move all this stuff down. So we're going to go spear in one, axe will be in two. Alright, so what you do is you just you kind of follow that blade around and find your little stock of grass to whack and just give it a whack a do. Oof, and there it goes. And you just gotta eat it up. It's no lemon crime, but it's better than nothing. And it's like they do like this. <laughs> they do this amazing deal where it, 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 it's simple. Like you just. The water comes down like at different times, like in the morning times when it's morning or when it's night and it's cooling off and everything, like the water comes out more. So if it's really hot and it's the middle of the day, you're not going to see a bunch of water. But in the early mornings, that kind of thing, it just kind of, like it normally would be in nature. It's they, they thought of so many things, but Obsidian, they make some amazing games. I can't think... And if you guys can leave a game, leave it, leave it in the comments down below. But if if you can think of a bad game, a bad game that Obsidian has made, the the makers of Fallout New Vegas, uh, let's see what else, Pillars of Eternity. Um, they just made the one. The last game I played on this channel was an Obsidian. Wow, am I becoming am I like an Obsidian fanboy? But anyway, uh, the last one that I played on this channel was The Outer Worlds. That's an Obsidian game, and that was amazing. It was it was very good. I I, I can't necessarily Pillars of Eternity is not necessarily my deal. I gotta try it on a different level because I've never really played those isometric games too much. But okay, I hear something. There is a fuzzy bug around or something. Anyway, um, yeah, they made a lot of great games. So I found the icy mints. I don't really need those. I know I need these though. These will be handy in the next um Hear that? I can hear a buzzing. Is it a bee or is it a They got all kinds of bugs and So we gotta get these clover pieces because it's a good crafting item. Okay, so this is a uh, old school radio, I think. It's a spacer, S P A C E R dot R, S P A C dot R. A science knob, off to max. It's got a power knob, off to max. Bunch of circuitry, but this looks like the platform. Oh, there's a there's a tape? Oh, no freaking way. I was a fool to have ever doubted myself. A fool oh, like Klein, like Kaminsky, awesome. like Schmechter, like all of Ominent. I am here in the backyard. Down in the backyard. I mean, I am speaking to you from the backyard. I am tiny! I should gather my thoughts. This is a momentous occasion. Wendell Tolley official log 89.08.05 okay. recording as I take my first steps into the miniature world the sights are unbelievable the textures, the, the way the light falls upon every surface, the subtle patterns in all of the objects that surround me the grass even common lawn grass looks like a structure from an alien world that's what I said wait, what's that sound? the very earth is trembling over there, what could it be? An ant! It's a big My ass bug. God, today, the world has changed forever. It's 
so what you got to do is, uh, or what we're going to do, do a little bit of, ooh, pop that one like a pimple. Here we go. This one's up here really high. Okay, we get there. And then the reason that we need a torch is because we got to go in there. All right, shadows. What you got now? God, is there a way to save this thing right now? Man, here we go. They're in here. There's one right there. Dig it. Straight up. Hope that can cook all this at some point. Maybe like a big queen mite down here. Oh, bastard. It's a regular lawn mite. See, and the crazy part is that, like, it's just a... These are things. Like, there's not, like, a... They didn't make a whole bunch of weird-ass alien creatures up or something to scare you. Oof. Shit, back up, back up, back up. Looks like a mine up ahead. They didn't, um... How do I get my health up? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Uh, wait, 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 back it up, back it up, back it up. Oh, uh, man, I still haven't crafted any bandages yet. What's wrong with me? I'm trying to die, and I got like, how am I going to kill myself? What am I going to do? I don't know. Make some bandages like a good dude, you know? Craft some mini. All right, we're good. Uh, inventory. All right, let's heal him up, man. There we go. It's like, where are the bandages at? Let's go four with the health. Is that a good number? I hope so. What kind of health are we getting? What's R is Huck? Okay, it says Huck. Alright, so the mites are apparently following me out because I hear them closer. such a good job on the sound. Like, the sound is just, just very layered. Like, you hear the noises of the environment, my footsteps, the bugs. Good Back night. it up, man. We tight. Get that Don't one. Let the red mice bite. Okay. Okay, so let's take a look around. Look at the artwork right there. It's so 80s and 90s. Like, Like, I don't want anybody to get the wrong impression about things, because I do enjoy some video games, and I don't, you know... Okay, so that's wet, but it doesn't give me any food. But, but like... This is very good. Very good. See, look at how far you can see that grub over there. This guy's a little glitched out right here, but there is so much stuff going on in this world. It's just impressive. I still don't have an aphid yet, dude. I haven't actually got that sucker yet. The little chirpy little bastards in there. Stuck up and stuff. They just run away. I definitely need to get one and scan one, you know. All right, so we're 181 centimeters. We're looking around. I see we're approaching dry grass. I know there's going to be some roots for the tree up here soon. There are some scary ass spiders, like ridiculous scary. Like they're gigantic in this. And there's actually a setting in this game uh, for people with arachnophobia. So you can pick a setting in this game and it turns all of the spiders into big jelly beans. For people with arachnophobia who still want to play a game that has big ass spiders in it, we will uh, yeah, help you out there by... Oh shit, what is that? Oh shit, oh goodness gracious. Whew. Okay, so we can go X and we can scan it, right? Location marked on the map. 
how do we scan this? Oh, peep creature, E. I see you. So you hit X, and you go E, and it, okay, so it's like a fake binocular. That is a trip. Look at that. Little kid-ass binoculars you can put waypoints, dude. So dope. I just thought it was like a little bug-catching thing, but okay. Here we go. There is a locked door. That's cool as shit, though. Nothing. We got a coffee mug. It's bullshit papers. We got an analyzer. So uh, let's do spider web. I like spider web. Science. Silk rope. Ooh, we can make rope. A basketball. A basketball hoop. Spinning wheel. Okay. A spinning a spinning wheel. Making cars? So I like I said, I got this game way back like a couple of years ago when it was in first released on early access. I got it for I don't know, my son and myself. We do like to play some video games every once in a while together. Um, we did play through some of it, but like I said it was very basic. Very basic. Um so I like I said, I still haven't really. I did some a couple hours recently with him on some multiplayer stuff. I have isolated the source of the particle irregularities. They appear to be a byproduct of the shrinking process. If I adjust the machine to account for their existence, it should be the key to the de-shrinking, uh, expanding process. Virgil, please bring up the readings for the irregular covalent SNPI 42Z particle traces. Ugh. That name is going to get tiresome. And while you're at it, rename all references to the irregular covalent SMPI 42Z particle to Raw Science. Raw Science. Order received. Raw Science identified. Does it require cooking, flipping, or g -g -g grilling? No, 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 none of those. Categorization. That answer is not permitted, according to health code standards governing the handling of raw food items. Okay, but like I said, early access a while ago it was okay, it was pretty good, but then you get the sense of like they're going to add so much more to it. Um, so like some point you want to stop it. Like I played other early access games and they're like, okay, early access is cool. You can see the concept, but you're like, all right, oh, it's okay, but... And some of them are eh. This one's like, wow, this is really cool. I'm digging it. And I want to see the game in the finished state. So we stopped playing it. And then like a week ago, we, uh, my inventory's full. We played a couple of uh, hours on the uh, multiplayer. You can check that out on my channel. Um, it's here. There's like two episodes of that. They're a little bit long form, but great fun. Super good fun. Lots of this. Purples and colors and neons and and we had a blast. I could use a... So, <laughs> however, Science. Damn. my kid is a teenager and Uh, emotionally, chronologically, and just overall ambivalent to anything. So, if you're listening, dude, I do love you, but you're paying my butt. Help, please. Okay, so we got the B Burgle B R U B U R G dot L. We'll get this taken care of. Nope, oh, we didn't help him. Guess maybe we shouldn't. Maybe. He turns out to be the villain in the end. He's like the... Maybe he got knocked over for a reason. We'll get this taken maybe care he's of. the guy that started all this. A little foreshadowing, maybe. No. Alright. Thanks for the helping hand. You're welcome. I am B -B 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 Burgle, acting science manager for this project. I am also a robot. I am sure this all must be very disorienting for you, but hopefully I can explain. 
I am sure this all must be very disorienting for you, but hopefully I can explain. I suspect you were miniaturized by Dr. Tully's spacer device. Why are you here in the yard? I do not know. In fact, I cannot seem to recall much of anything. So, the robot's got amnesia? That's awesome. A recent power surge has caused a massive raw science containment explosion. This lab, as you can see, is a disaster. It certainly is, dude. You definitely need to start cleaning up in here, because this is disgraceful. And what's worse, the explosion has disrupted my computing power. My memory banks are corrupted. Of course. My memory banks are corrupted too, but... It's for very different reasons, I'm sure. Sorry to pile on the bad news, my new friend. How can I be of service? Okay. Oh, so how come I can't remember anything? You want me to ask the robot why I can't remember anything when he just told me he can't remember anything? Let's find out. It seems you and I are both a little discombobulated. Well, you know. Given my best calculations, your biomass has been subject to covalent spacing reduction via interatomic energy extraction. So it's kind of an uh, interesting concept for any people out there in the science fiction or science industry, science business, people that know science, or think they know science. Anyway, so the concept that there is the space between the atoms that make up all matter, all mass is made of atoms, but the space between those atoms is like, uh, compare an atom to like the solar system. So you got the middle part with all the electrons and stuff going around the outside and the protons um, like a solar system so they're orbiting so there's a lot of space between those little particles so the shrinking thing says that basically if our atoms are all made up of small little the nucleus with the electrons and protons going around the outside um, a lot of space in between all that so basically we're made up of mostly space because atoms are like some high percentage I don't want to say exactly but let's say 80 percent 90 percent space if you want more relevant information more specific science on it look at the Ant-Man video anyway if you reduce the space between all the particles then you can shrink people which if you think about it sounds pretty legit and that the concept that maybe science fiction is just science that's ahead of its time and that maybe someday that will become technology that people can think it up and if you can think it up I think it can be done you just have to wait for the right time in, 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 in history let's assume we don't all destroy ourselves here soon in other words you have been shrunk it is likely this was achieved using Dr. Wendell Tully's spacer platform patent pending been shrunk. I will agree. Shrinking can be a traumatic experience for tiny human brains, and memory loss is a known side effect. Hopefully your memory will return in time. Hopefully my memory will in, in return in time, but you know, my brain is way smaller, so I'm not sure how that's going to work. Let's find out who Dr. Wendell Tully is. Dr. Tully is a brilliant scientist and inventor. Well, thanks he for that. He is also my creator. My initial protocol was to serve as the short order cook of the future. Short order cook? You were going to make... However, I have been recently promoted to acting science manager. 
to assist with his experiments. That's awesome. No doubt my previous work experience has been invaluable to Dr. Tully. Although, now that I am processing it, I have not seen him for several weeks. And now I cannot recall where he went. It must be my c c corrupted memory banks. All right, where am I? This is the b base of operations for conducting experiments in his yard. Okay, how do I get home? To return to your prior size, you would need to successfully activate Dr. Tully's spacer platform. Okay. Spacer platform. Unfortunately, my readings indicate it is inoperable. It appears to have suffered several malfunctions from the explosion. Okay. I am sorry, but it appears you may be stranded here for some time until we find a solution. Can we fix it? Haha! <laughs> that is a great idea! Let me run a full diagnostic scan on it and see what we need to do to get it fixed up. Processing! Processing! Memory fault! Code 408B3000! Ominent OS script runtime error! Arg. I am sorry again. It appears I have sustained more damage to my memory chips than expected. Without those memories, I do not know how to repair the spacer. Alright, so we gotta get us some memory chips. Dr. Tully used two types of chips to back up my memory. Auxiliary chips are small capacity chips used to store project data. If you find these, I should be able to help you learn new survival recipes. Super chips are special, and they are gold! They back up full directories of my memory system. If we are going to fix the spacer, that data is bound to be on a super chip. I suggest exploring the other labs in the backyard. Return with any memory chips you find. The other labs? Dr. Tully has built many more labs throughout the yard. Each lab is used for various experimental procedures. I can upload their locations to your scabby. Stand by. Processing. Processing. Error. Files not found. Cheese and fries. The lab locations are missing from my memory banks too. B but we are in luck. I was able to retrieve the location of one of the facilities. The Hedge Lab. What's the Hedge Lab? The Hedge Lab is the observation center of the yard and used for research on arachnid webbing. That would be arachnid as in spiders. You will find the hedge near the house if you head southeast. The lab is located deep inside the hedge, sending the coordinates to your scabby. Scabby. Try to find the Hedge Lab first. But there is nothing stopping you from searching the yard for the other labs. Except, of course, thousands of angry, hungry insects. <laughs> so it does give you a choice to do what you want. You know, have a good time. Explore. But you might get wrecked. That reminds me. Dr. Tully locks the important labs with biometric scanners. You will need access for any chance of success. Head over to the ASL terminal and place your hand on the biometric scanner near it. Give it a moment to sync your signature into the mainframe. 
Once you are registered, you will be granted access to the ASL Network of Computers 2. ASL grants access to daily work items. Nay, tasks. Nay, quests. Yes, quests. I will reward you raw science for each completed quest. In my science shop, you can trade raw science back for survival recipes from experiments that Wendell conducted when he was first exploring the yard. Log on to the ASL terminal over there and see what is available. Unless you have any other questions, you really should get started finding those ships and try not to die out there. All right, that's home. Red I can really field. use some good g g drilling right about now. What would Dr. Tikatali do? Alright, but there was another room back here if I remember. This way. And... Warning, air contamination critical. Security lockdown in effect. Here, there's a room, right? System now. Boom. Maybe. Oh, we got a scan? Oh, you gotta hold it. You can't just press. You gotta hold it. You gotta make you feel like you're actually working it. Big ass nine volt batteries, man. They're so cool. They did their bro. Really sure you were out the going hook. on in here, but this morning I installed the borrowed lab modules. Another one of my forgotten inventions from the early days. I had such grand notions back then. The Kinder Science Mini Quick Little Chemist Lab educational toy for children. But no, Wendell, we can't possibly put hydrochloric acid into the hands of children. The lawyers will never agree. <laughs> it's a good thing I never told them about the Bunsen burners. Odd that Arminant has been using my toy pieces in this way. Hmm. I digress. The lab network is now up and running in the backyard. I'm planning to dedicate each one of them to a different function. Main power will run through here. The Oak Lab is the center of operations for the backyard. The second lab is nestled into the hedge. Such wonderful views from up there. Side note, I'm worried that Ominent's shoddy manufacturing of the lab pieces will cause them to fall apart over time, but they will do for now. To keep things clean, there's experimentation to be done. Okay. Well, let's not let it, uh... What the hell's that? Is that a picture? Oh, there's little kids feeding a little hamster. Oh, that's pretty sweet. It is nice to see a friendly fake. How can I help you today? Let's see if we got Ask questions. away, my friend. Nope. How can I help you today? Have Goodbye, an exponentially great. Yep. Okay. So that's it. I think I'm pretty much done with this part of the. Uh... Got the doors open. I did the thing back there. So. I guess the next thing that I have to set up for is the hedge lab, but, uh, yeah. Get your spear out. You don't want to be caught without your spear, bro. Oh, shit. We don't want to go this way. Nope. That's a big ass mother Having a little peek. spider right there. Spotted you. That's a wolf spider? Shit, run this way, dude. What is that? What the hell is that? Alright. Juice box. We got a pond. There's a house over there. Juice box. 
Let's take some mushrooms. All right. Can I craft a shovel? That spider might be a little pissy. It might be a little bit upset. I don't need to craft a bunch. I just need one. Got the shovel crafted. All right, so let's take the rocks out of the mix. Can I take the rocks out of the mix? Can. And find that there shovel. Bandages can go all the way to eight. I need a shovel. Okay. Shovel's on four. That's a spider right there. I don't want to see that sucker. Or we were junior. How many damn spiders I got in this game? He was looking at me like he wanted to wrap me up in a little hug. The hell? Hope y'all can hear that, but there's a very growly. Okay. Alright. My hunger's bad. Because I'm an inattentive and irresponsible person who doesn't. Thank you for letting me walk on that leaf, because that is amazing. Spider webs down there, that's not promising. Oh shit, there's a spider there. Can you come up here? Nah. Oh yeah, alright, here we go, here we go. Oh no, don't fall. Okay. So. I am not going down there for that science. That science can kiss my butt. I am not the best, most uh, qualified person to, you know. Up until, let's say, maybe two or three years ago, my video game experience was completely 100% played on controller. So my... Get him! Oh yeah! Oh no! My freaking son got me... Oh. I don't want to say got. He asked me for a, a gaming computer. Oh, there's a pissed off ant. Get in the hut, get in the hut, get in the hut. Okay. I was told at one point I was safe in the hut, but then the spider was kicking our asses when we were in the hut. Oh, the bird is back. Damn it. Anyway, at some point my son asked me for a gaming computer. You know, we had a PlayStation 4 and uh, whatever, whatever. Um... You know, PSVR, that kind of deal. Oh, spoiled meat slurry. Yeah, I know. So I get him a gaming computer, and then he gets into it, and he wants to do the mods and all the stuff like that, you know, so... Oh, no, no, no. Oh, shit, no, no, no. Stop. Space, continue. Something's killing me, something's killing me. Shit, what is getting me? Holy shit, there's a little spider. Damn it. Oh, no, no, no. Don't let me die. Oh shit, there's a big spider and a little spider? Shit, I'm done. I'm done. I'm gonna die. Damn it, I was doing so well, too. No. Shit, no, get down, get down, get down. Get down, crouch. Can you crouch? Please crouch. Beeswax. What's a kid case? I don't know what that is. I'm just going to respawn. So the way this game works is that uh, when you die, you respawn at your bedroll. 
So then you do have the opportunity to go back and to retrieve your stuff, which is that far away. But I have been on this episode for a good little while now, and I would like to uh, call it a quits. We're talking a few hours on this thing, so like I said, I'm going to try to edit this down into a good amount. If I don't, though, you know, I do apologize for my laziness, but this is a fun game. I'm enjoying the hell out of this, so thank you for your time. This is the Atomic Rooster. If you're still watching, God bless you. God bless your families and your finances and all of that stuff. Thank you. Please like the video. Because if you're watching this long, come on, you liked it. Nobody be watching this long if you didn't like it.